I know what you're probably thinking. It is the same thing that I'm thinking. It's about time. It's been over three weeks since we have been in this happy place, sharing the latest in cruising and cruise news with all you Islanders. And as we sit here today, there are some major changes taking place across the industry. Carnival Cruise Line is announcing that their menus in the main dining room are set to change. Over 60 new dishes, bigger portion sizes. We have the news on that story on the show today. Plus, we have two stories from Royal Caribbean. One of them, the icon of the seas is starting sea trials. We will share that and the latest pictures of the icon of the seas with you. And Royal Caribbean is setting a change. Their newest ship, the Utopia of the Seas, is set to come out in 2024 as well. And they have big plans, something different for the Utopia of the Seas. We all need some time in the islands. Let's go there now on Island Time. A big happy Tuesday to all you Islanders. We hope you're having a great day. We are on Island Time. My name is Derek. It is so great to be back home, to be back in the studio, and to sit in this happy place sharing the latest in cruising and cruise news with all you Islanders. We are back from our big trip. We flew to Barcelona, Spain. We cruised on board the Carnival of Venezia. We ended up in New York City. We stayed there for a couple of days. We got home late. Last week, we caught up on email, and here we are back in the studio sharing the latest and what's going on in the cruise world. There are some big changes that cruise lines have announced. We're going to get to the cruise news stories here in just a second, but I want to point out a couple of things first. We have a lot, almost a thousand new Islanders. Since the last time I recorded a show right here in the studio, we want to welcome all of you Islanders who joined us on board the Carnival Venezia. You were either on the ship or you're keeping up with what's going on. We are glad that you're here. Please say hello in the comment section below. And secondly, before we get into the cruise news today, we want to share our thoughts, our prayers uh, with two different groups of people, two different events going on right now. There are many of our island friends who are gearing up for the hurricane season. We, there's already a tropical storm. Tro tropical storm Brent is set to hit uh, the Virgin Islands if, if the storm keeps up. Uh, Antigua, Puerto Rico, we are praying for all of you in the path of that storm. And of course, a story that a lot of us have been following. Uh, we're praying for five passengers who are missing. They are on a submarine. They were on a Titanic exploration. There's a lot unknown about uh, this event and where the sub is at. We are praying for all of those involved. We're keeping our eye close on both stories. We are praying for all of you. And we know that the Islander Nation is praying for you as well. Let's get in uh, to the latest in cruising and cruise news. We've seen so many changes with cruising since Cruising restarted in July of 2021. There have been big changes. We have shared those changes on the show. There continue to be big changes. Now, let's go ahead and clarify that the word change does not always infer that it's going to be a negative item, a negative change in nature. Sometimes change is a positive thing. And our first cruise news story shows just that. We were on board the Carnival Venezia with Carnival's president and CEO, Christine Duffy and Chief Culinary Officer Emerald. We went to a fireside chat where Christine and Emerald talked about how they're changing Carnival's menu. They hinted at a big announcement at that fireside chat. We didn't know it would just be a couple of weeks after that that they would announce that Carnival Cruise Line, with the help of Chef Emerald, they're saying, BAM! Right there, changes to Carnival's main dining room menu are set. They have been announced. If you're cruising on board the Carnival Dream right now or this summer, you are the first to see this new menu inspired by Emerald. Over 60 new dishes. Listen to some of this news. The ability to order dishes from specialty restaurants, even if the specialty restaurant is not on the ship. You can still order dishes from that specialty restaurant, those specialty restaurants in the main dining room. There are over 60 new dishes that we are all excited about. New vegetarian options. There are new, new larger portions for some of us who have been asking for larger portions. 
There are new uh, items like salads that have a protein, chicken and shrimp and things like that. There are new options for Carnival Journeys cruises. If you checked out our live show yesterday evening, we pointed out that there was very limited options on our Carnival Journeys cruise. We gave a full review of our Carnival Venezia tour. If you missed it, check it out. It's on our, our channel right now. The new menu is right now on the Carnival Dream. She will be on other ships. We don't know what other ships yet, but she is on the Carnival Dream. We don't know how the Carnival Dream was chosen as the first ship to house these menus, to share these menus. But we are indeed excited that the Carnival Dream was chosen because many of you Islanders cruise out of Galveston, Texas, and you can give us a firsthand account of these new menus, the new dishes, and what you think. Let's talk about really quick what you want to see as part of these new menus. What are some things that are currently not working in the main dining room? Some things that you want to see change. Uh, some things that you hope they experience. Let's quickly discuss on the show today, what are some things that we think need to be changed? A lot of you are frequent carnival cruisers. You have some ideas of what you would like to see changed. Some things you'd like to be taken off the menu, some things you'd like to be you'd like to see added onto the menu, some things that you would like to see that would change the entire experience. There's one thing I will share with you that I wish we would have. And some people totally disagree with this. That is okay. I would love the ability for me and Amanda and the boys to show up at our table we can see the menu early in the day. Of course, that capability is already there, or you can scan the QR code. When you get to the table, you can ask for a paper menu, but I would love the ability for me to just order our dinner on the Carnival Hub app. I can check and see, I want this and that, here are the dishes I want, there my order goes, and now we save time, right? Uh, Amanda and I are not foodies. We want to go to the main dining room. We want to be in the dining room and out in 30 to 45 minutes. We enjoy the Broadway shows. We enjoy comedy shows. We enjoy live music. We want to eat at 5.30 and be out by 6 or 6.15 so we have the whole night to go do other things that are on board the ship. I know we may be in the minority of people who would like that experience, who desire that experience. Some people love to be there for an hour to an hour and a half, taking a block of their evening away. They love that, and there's nothing wrong with that at all. That's not just us. I would love to speed up the process. Here's my food order, bring it to me. We can skip the whole interaction and waiting for the, uh, for the wait team, the wait staff to come wait on us. That is okay, we don't need that. It's a personal preference, but that is it for us. Let us know what changes you want to see as part of this big overhaul that Carnival has announced in the comments section below. Let's talk about this story, the Icon of the Seas, talking about change. Icon of the Seas, the largest cruise ship ever built. I'm going to share pictures of her right now with you. The latest pictures here as the Icon of the Seas starts her sea trials. Many people aren't sure what sea trials are. Here's what it is. Royal Caribbean and the shipyard in particular are testing the maneuverability, the functionality, the safety systems, the propulsion, the seaworthiness, uh, how the ship can turn and navigational systems, uh, how they interact with another, the noise, the vibration, the test on board. Royal Caribbean and the shipyard are testing all of these things and it is import important because the Icon is a new class of ship. She's the largest ship ever built. There are new systems on this ship that Royal Caribbean and their team are not used to. The shipyard hasn't built some of these systems before. This is expected to be sea trial number one for the Icon of the Seas. The Icon of the Seas will return to the shipyard where we can only assume that there will be work done on some of these systems to improve experience, to improve noise levels and vibration, to improve systems. And then there will probably be a second set and who knows a third set of sea trials. And if you see that, know that there's nothing wrong with that. The sea trials are test to make sure things are working as they're designed to work, to work as, as maximally effective as they can work. We are excited to keep up with the sea trials. They usually last four, five, six days. Uh, they get The data team gets the data they need. The ship, of course, returned to the shipyard. Work is still being done on the interior of the Icon of the Seas. Uh, I wanted to point out, just because she's having these sea trials, it is not the last step before she sets sail. 
there's still a lot of, uh, of retrofitting and outfitting that's going on on board the ship. The interior work continues for all those venues and things like that. Her maiden voyage is set for January of 2024. We hope, though, to see her in Galveston in December of 2023 as we cruise on board the Carnival Jubilee. We know, of course, Michael Bailey has said the Icon of the Seas will visit Galveston, Texas. Uh, she may not sell passengers from there, but she will visit, uh, hopefully in December or January of 2024. We're excited about that. That is not the only news, though, from Royal Caribbean. Uh, the Utopia of the Seas, a second cruise ship coming out uh, in 2024 for Royal Caribbean. We also have news, and this is a change as well, right? We're talking about changes in the industry, things that are changing. Cruise lines for decades would build a ship, and that ship would sell for seven-day itineraries, eight-day itineraries, or even longer. They would sell in different parts of the world, but Royal Caribbean is changing the game. They announced that the allure of the seas would do three and four day sailings. The first Oasis class ship to do so later this year into next year. But now they're saying a new ship, an Oasis class ship, the newest Oasis class ship, the Utopia of the Seas will come out in July of 2024, but she also will do three and four in short sailings. A brand new ship. It is great news for those who love shorter cruises. She's going to, going to sell from Port Canaveral in July of 2024, but she is selling short cruises. Let me show you some of these pictures and renderings of the Utopia of the Seas as we take a look at her. The Utopia of the Seas, what could be the last Oasis class ship, 236,860 gross tons. She will be the largest Oasis class ship. Uh, just three tons over the wonder of the seas, but smaller than the icon class. She will accommodate over 56, almost 5,700 guests at double occupancy, over 6,000 when all berths are filled. She'll have five pools, you can see. Three water slides, 21 dining men, uh, venues, 23 bars, two casinos, eight hot tubs. The big surprise, though, is four and five day sailings. For the Utopia of the Seas, it's a big surprise, and get this. The big news is also that the Utopia of the Seas, every single selling will sell to Perfect Day at Coco Cay. You're going to get the total Royal Caribbean experience as the ship will sail to one of the most popular ports, even though it's owned by Royal Caribbean. But one of the most popular ports of call in the Caribbean, Perfect Day at Coco Cay. She will also sell those longer itineraries to a stop in the Bahamas. But what an announcement for Royal Caribbean, and it leaves many asking why. Why would this brand new biggest Oasis class ship do these short sellings? It's a new audience. They're looking for that new audience, new cruisers who want to try out cruising, who are in Florida already. Think about it. Some people may already be at Cocoa Beach, enjoying a relaxing day at the beach, or they may be checking out the Space Coast and everything going on in the Space Coast. And maybe they say, you know what? We'll squeeze in a cruise while we're there. There may be a group of people who are south of Orlando at Disney World. They came to Florida to go to Disney. But they say, you know what? While we're there, we'll check out a small cruise, a short cruise, but on a huge ship. It's all about audiences. That's what Royal Caribbean is going for. Think about doing a back-to-back -back and going to Perfect Day at Coco Cay two times in one week. That is appealing. Michael Bailey, Royal Caribbean and their international president and CEO said this today. Vacationers are looking to make every moment count by celebrating and recharging with their friends and family. And Utopia of the Seas makes all that possible in more ways than one. With a variety of dining, bars, pools, entertainment, and thrills that make Oasis class ships revolutionary. And the experiences to match on our private island perfect day at Coco Cay, we've combined the best of the best to create the world's biggest weekend for everyone. And that's how they are market, marketing it, the world's best weekend experience. Of course, the ship is selling more than just the weekend, but it is shorter cruises. Listen to this. You can begin booking the Utopia of the Seas on July the 22nd. If you're interested, go ahead, send us an email, travel at bookislandtime.com. We will have a list, the notebook, literally, we've got two of them, 
It's here. We're making our list already of those who are interested who want to book on July the 22nd. Of course, the ship sails July of 2024 from Port Canaveral, but we will make sure if you're interested that you are on our list and we get you booked July the 22nd. We're excited about that. Big news, big changes again. Not all negative. We saw on today's show today that change can be a good thing. Changing the menus for Carnival Cruise Line, it's a good thing. The change that the icon of the seas is bringing as the largest ship to ever be built and this change by Royal Caribbean and the new ship Utopia of the Seas to do shorter sellings, change is not always a bad thing. What are some changes that have happened in the cruise industry the last couple of years that you have welcomed? Is it the faster embarkation process? Is it the use of facial uh, identity by the Department of Homeland Security to make embarkation and, and, and debarkation quicker? The e-muster process has changed quite a bit, has it not? Uh, cruising has changed the last couple of years. What are some things that have changed that you have enjoyed? Maybe it is in the show today. Islanders, we are here to help you. If you need help with your cruises, booking your cruises, managing your cruises, make sure you reach out to us, travel at bookislandtime.com. We hope you enjoyed the show today. If so, give us a thumbs up. That will help this show be broadcast to others who are looking for the latest in cruise news and for a great community just like you. Have a great day. We'll see you in the comments section below on our Facebook page and tomorrow right here on Island Time.